this is Karam Nawaz and today I'm gonna show you how to convert Cisco Lightweight access point to autonomous or standalone access point. In order to use the access point without a wireless LAN controller, the autonomous image must be installed on the access point. Cisco access point have three different type of image available. K9W7 which is autonomous IOS and this is what we are going to use today. K9W8 is the factory installed on MASH access point which is full lightweight access point or IOS. RCV K9W8 lightweight recover image this is factory installed on lightweight access point unless a MASH image is specified. So let's get started. Unfortunately, many of the commands you will want to use, such as configure terminal, will be unavailable on lightweight access point. Default username is Cisco with C capital, same password, enable Cisco configure terminal. As you can see here. Let me show you the version really quick. K9W8. So let's get started. So first of all, I'm gonna turn off my access point. Press and hold the mod button while you reconnect power to the access point. Hold the mod button until the status LED turns amber. Takes approximately uh, five to 10 seconds be more and release the button Okay, so my access point came back online. Let's see what we can use here. Mr. Mark, ARP, boot. So let's get started here. DIR flash. So, first of all, I'm going to delete some files of delete flash colon. Yes, delete it. That's it. Now I'm going to set the IP address AWR 170.16.10.100. Ethernet. Okay. Set net mask two double five two double five two double five dot zero set default underscore router one seven two dot one six dot ten what is the IP address of a MacBook ten dot twelve now TFTP underscore initialize ether underscore initialize Flash underscore in it. Right. So here's what I'm gonna do. I have already downloaded uh, the IS image file. Let me show you really quick. So here's the file. K9W7. I'm just gonna copy file name. I have already configured my TFTP server. So, parse base minus extract tftp colon 172.16.10.12 my tftp server IP address which is installed on my MacBook slash file name 
destination. Enter. As you can see, uh, it just start downloading the file from TFTP log viewer. There is nothing over here yet. <laughs> Anyway, I'm, I'm going to pause the video here because it's going to take a while uh, once this file finish, I will resume the video. Okay guys, as you can see here, we just finished uh, uploading. So now, DIR flash. Let's make sure. Yep. Okay, now we have to write Z boot. Make sure it's uh, case sensitive. Flash colon. Right click to paste slash. Right click. Enter. To, set, to see the parameters, you have to write Z. As you can see here, flash. Don't worry about this. Uh, this is our main focus is on. So, and now you can just write boot, and it's booting. K nine W seven. After the access point boot, we can see something like this. So now I'm gonna type enable the default password Cisco with C capital. This is case sensitive. Awesome configure terminal. You show IP internet brief. Awesome. I got the IP address. Just in case, if you didn't, write interface dv1 IP address 172.16.10.82 or 83 2.05.2.05.2.05.0 shut down. That's it. Thank you for watching this video.